Hello, it's Terhi here. Today I'm playing with HipKit Club weekly sketch in HipKit Club member forum in Facebook. If you haven't looked up there, go ahead and take a look and win some prizes. Anyway, today's sketch is uh, kind of a circular uh, element at the most visible thing on the sketch and I decided to use lots of exclusive stuff from HipKit Club Make It. Um, I'm starting with this lovely paper. It's not exclusive. It's from the Lizzie collection Saturday, I think, or a lovely day. Uh, it was Saturday. It must have been. Anyway, um, I'm starting to make some stripes and with these stripes I'm making some little little super tiny pieces and then I'm going to do a kind of circle thing on my background uh, by using this. Uh, I'm really into making these little pieces backgrounds <laughs> time after time but can't help it. It's it's just so nice. Uh, for the photograph I'm using a picture of my younger daughter who is now going to school. I can't believe it's she's um, going to turn seven years old and in Finland they are starting the school when they are seven. Of course there's a preschool but she is now graduated from preschool and it's kind of fantastic to get her out of daycare to the world of school. Anyway, as you see, I'm using the pieces like this and making this kind of uh, round element, something like that on the background. Um, when the layout is finished, uh, I wasn't that pleased to the round thing because it didn't look that round as I hoped, but I really liked this layout and it was inspired by the sketch and that's the most important thing I think because if you want to play with the sketch it doesn't matter what you do as long as you go kind of inspired by that. Anyway, uh, the colors I'm using today are really really light um, and as the paper I choose to use on the background, the Dear Lizzie one, is really uh, light with these lovely blue and yellow and red tones, um, these exclusive flowers and words and phrases are really perfect for the, uh, for the layout. Um, I wasn't sure if that photograph is actually really matching to this layout, but it, it works and later on I will use some watercolors from my color kit and it will look, uh, if not perfect, perfectly good, it will look like a, like almost perfectly good <laughs> or something like that. Anyway, I'm making a little teeny tiny paper cluster behind my photograph and gluing it onto my layout. Um, not many papers, just few and some flowers and of course some thread. I actually was stitching in um, northern Finland last weekend and while I was stitching one of the students asked when are we going to do the Terhi thing? When are we going to do the Terhi thing? And I was like, what? What's the Terhi thing? The thread! When are we going to use the thread? And I was like, ah, oh, yeah, later on, later on, my dear. So that's the Terhi thing. I didn't know there's a name for that, but there is, and it was a funny moment. Anyway, back to this layout. As you see, I'm using lots and lots of exclusive flowers, and I'm trying to avoid using too much gold, because even though I love the gold accents, um, I don't want to add it too much on this layout because there is so much light colors and if I use too much gold, it will look like gold layout and I don't want it to look like gold layout. Uh, the title will be partly gold and that will be enough, maybe some gold accents uh, on top of some of the flowers, but not too much. 
Uh, right now I'm thinking if I should add this little little phrase um, on the photograph but then again my daughter has this really pink dress and the phrase is orange uh, so it kind of doesn't match perfectly uh, and I'm like really obsessed to use that little bird because my dear daughter loves birds she actually I don't know what's the next word from love, but she really, really loves birds. And every time I see any embellishments, bird embellishments or bird papers or anything like that um, in the scrapbooking world, I'm like, yay, I'm going to buy that and that because only because uh, my daughter loves them so much. But now I'm using the watercolors from Prima Marketing, which were in May Color Kit, which I adore. <laughs> I want to have something, um, some colors uh, for the layout as the background now is so light. So I'm adding the watercolor uh, between the paper pieces. And I don't mind if some of the color will go on top of the paper pieces because it doesn't matter. I'm actually doing some splash uh, <laughs> some splashes on top of the paper pieces, so um, it will give the kind of artistic look for this layout. I'm going in with uh, lots of yellow and then some uh, really light pink and really light blue, just as the paper pieces from the Dear Lizzie papers is or are. Anyway, uh, I'm finishing up the layout with these Echo Park enamel dots, which we had in make it i don't remember was it the uh, embellishment kit or the main kit but anyway it was there and it's really perfect for this layout and here it is it's really simple but it was highly inspired by the sketch and i'm really proud of me using colored photograph not only black and white uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you again next week. Bye!